Okay, everybody, for our main maths job today, we are going to make a trap to catch evil P. We're going to be super potato sidekicks and we're going to use all of our problem solving and all of our mathsy knowledge to help us make a fabulous trap to catch that sneaky P and to stop him from getting up to mischief. Now to do this, we're going to have to think really carefully, aren't we? We're going to have to think about how big Evil P is and what size of trap we might need for him. We're going to think about, well, how are we going to get him into the trap and how are we going to stop him from being able to escape? How are we going to keep an eye on him while he's in there and make sure he's not doing anything mischievous while he's in there? Are we going to have a little window? And if we have a little window, how are we going to make sure he can't climb out of it? Once you've made your trap, I also want you to think about using your counting skills and your number skills by counting up the different equipment that you've used and making a list so that if we made the trap again, we'd know exactly what we need. Shall I show you what I mean? On the card in front of you, you'll see some pictures of the trap that I had a go at making. Now you can use absolutely anything you've got around the home. I had to use some bits and bobs from my recycling, but you might use, well, you might use your recycling, you might use Lego, you might go outside and use some sticks and some stones. It's completely up to you, you decide. But for my trap, I went for an egg carton and I put some potatoes in there because I thought that might be a good way of luring Evil P inside. I know that he's always looking for sweet potato, so I thought he might think one of these was sweet potato and he might come in there and have a look and see what he's doing in there. Now, in the picture, you'll see that I had two sticks propping the lid up. And on one of those sticks, I tied a long bit of string. And that's because my idea was I'd leave it propped open. And then as soon as Evil P jumped in there, I'd pull the string and the lid would close on him and keep him in there. Now on the top, I cut a hole so that I'd be able to see in and see what he's up to. But then I've put some sticks across it to make sure the hole isn't big enough for him to climb out of. Okay, now I'm sure you'll come up with a trap a million times better than mine, but that's just to show you the kind of thing you might think of. Let me show you what I mean about writing down what you've used. So, I've used one egg carton, so I'm going to practice my numbers by writing it down. Now, it's maths, so practice your numbers for me. But don't worry about the words if you don't want to. You could get your grown-up to do the wordy part to, for your maths job. That's absolutely fine. Or, of course, if you want to write both, you can. So, one. One egg carton. Okay. So, I've used my shape and space and problem-solving knowledge to make my trap. And now I'm using my number knowledge to help me write down what I've used. I had one long bit of string. So I'm going to write that down. One long piece of string. Okay. I had two potatoes inside to act as my bait. Two potatoes. And I had two sticks holding it up on the at the front, didn't I? And then I've got four here. Oh, can anyone remember what was four and two? Four and two combined to make six. 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 Okay. And there we go. That's my massy thinking for today. I've used my knowledge to make the trap and then I've used my numbers to help me write down what I've used. Now, you might decide to do a trap like the one Super Potato uses in the story. Can you remember what does he use in the story? He uses jelly, doesn't he? Now, why don't you have a little look in your freezer? See if you've got any peas in there 
and then see if you can make a jelly with a pea inside it. Now, making jelly uses lots of mathsy skills because you have to measure and pour and think about the size that, of the moulds that you're going to put your jelly in to make it. So if you want to make a jelly trap, that would be a really good use of your math skills today as well. It's completely up to you. What I can't wait to see is some pictures of the traps that you do make. Have lots of fun, everybody. Think carefully about how you're going to make your trap and send me a picture to show me what you do when you're finished. I'll see you after lunch. Go and have lots of fun.